I'd like to resume my story uh, about this young man uh, who really took it as a challenge uh, to go to flight school uh, to finish flight school to show his dad that he could finish something um, and this young man then came back to Macon after mustering out of the military and uh, of all things uh, kind of went back to the filling station and uh, it wasn't the same filling station it was uh, uh, basically a, a, a different uh, type but it was a get ready shop at the local Chevrolet dealership so that you would kind of work on work on cars and get them ready to deliver when uh, somebody uh, bought a new car and uh, this went on for a while and this young man diddled uh, a little bit in the parts department of the Chevrolet dealership and then experimented with uh, automobile sales and trying to sell cars and uh, it was on the used car lot one day with a typical rotation uh, you'd spend a couple of days on the new car showroom and then a couple of days on the used car lot and uh, this young man was talking to an older salesman and uh, the older salesman asked him said what are you doing here I'm selling cars or trying to he said well what about your education I said, I guess it's just going to rust away. To which this older car salesman said, you picked a damn good place for it to happen. Well, that caused this young man to, again, think, now, what do I really want to do? What do I really want to do? And, uh, there was a decision made and an idea to go back to the University of Georgia to finish the education that I had never finished. Oops. That was a Freudian slip. This young man had never finished. Um, and go back to the University of Georgia, he did. Only this time, he spent uh, no time in the fraternity house and a lot more time in the library. Uh, this time, he didn't have nearly as much fun, but he uh, gained a thirst for knowledge and using the talents that he had learned in the military about discipline, about attention to detail, about teamwork, about schedule, regimen, was able to finish uh, at the University of Georgia. And uh, this young man's mother uh, overheard him say to somebody that he had started at the University of Georgia in 1966, graduated in 1978. <laughs> to which his mother replied, well, tell him what else you did. Tell him what else you did. <laughs> But then the decision was, well, now really what do you want to do? And it ended up that this young man's father was an attorney. And because of grades that I had made in speech and history, this young man's father said, I think you ought to put in an application to law school. And to make a long story short, this young man decided to go to law school and was fortunate enough to be accepted into Mercer Law School 
And then his senior year uh, was able to do an internship in Washington in the office of Senator Sam Nunn. And this young man was in Washington in the fall of 1980. In the fall of 1980, if any of you might remember, was the year when Jimmy Carter was beat by Ronald Reagan. It was the year that uh, uh, Herman Talmadge was defeated by somebody named Mac Mattingly that nobody had even heard of before. And there was a tumultuous time in Washington. And this young man was bitten by the political bug. Just seemed to gnaw at him. Uh, it brought it home with him when he came back. Finished, finished law school and, and went, to, went to work as an attorney. But always thinking in the back of his mind about politics what he'd seen and what he'd learned about the process while he was in Washington. And to make a long story short, to get into politics, he did. Uh, ran for city council and spent about four years on city council and ran for the state legislature and spent about ten years in the state house of representatives and then came back uh, to the practice of law and was happy for several years before, in 2007, we were having a very difficult time here in Macon. We had a, a mayor and a city council that was at war with itself. Uh, we had a separate county commission that tried to distance itself uh, from the city of Macon. And we really wasn't getting much done at all. <laughs> there were investigations ongoing about alleged theft by the mayor of millions of dollars. And the district attorney's office was involved and the U.S. attorney's office was involved and it was a very difficult time. And this young man was asked, why don't you run for mayor? And after giving that some thought and consideration, he decided he would. And when somebody said later on, what makes you think you can be mayor of Macon? He replied, I learned how to fly a helicopter. That's the end of my story for that part. But here's the nice part. That's not the end of the story. Because we are still at a very critical point in the history of Macon Bibb County. We have consolidated. We have become, we have a, now a, a unified or consolidated government. And we're rapidly unifying the people of Macon and the former Bibb County and forming one cohesive unit that can be more efficient and more effective, that can bring jobs and industry to town, that can create a happening place downtown that's attractive to a lot of people and that a lot of people find walkable, urban, and providing the kinds of opportunities that they look for. Uh, when choosing a place to live or stay uh, after they go to college here. But this is where you come in because the end of this story really depends on you and what you may do to help write the end of our story. Thank you.